Madi, your basic technology teacher. I welcome you to this morning's class. This morning, our topic of discussion is soul dream. Before we continue, I want to ask a question. How many of us have ever walked into a welder's workshop or a workshop where they repair phones, television terminals? Can I see you? Very good. That leads us to our lesson this morning. Just like I said, our topic today is soldering. I want to start by defining soldering. Soldering is the... is the act of joining metal surfaces by means of an alloy called solder which has a lower melting point than the metals being joined. Can we look at it again? Soldering is the act of joining metal surfaces by means of an alloy called solder, which has a lower melting point than the metals being joined. Now, I want us to take note of the word alloy. If we remember, in our last class, we defined an as alloy as two or more metals or more metals joined together. So the solder that we use in joining metals is an alloy of two metals. And the definition says the solder must have a lower melting point than the metals we are joining. This is because if the solder has a higher melting point than the metals, it will end up melting the metals instead of joining them. So if you are using a solder, the solder must, it is a must, that it must have a lower melting point than the metals you are joining. Now, another thing I want us to quickly look at is the materials and tools for soldering. For those of us that have been to a workshop before, a technician workshop, you will find out that there are certain materials that you will see in the workshop. One very important material that we have is the soldering bit. Soldering bit. The second one is the solder. Solder. The third one is flux. We have another one which is our source of heat. Another one is the emery cloth. emery cloth or fire. Now, let us take them one after the other. The first one I told you, I said it is soldering beads. I want you to look at the chart. On, the, on this chart, you will see a diagram of the soldering beads. The first one up here is known as the straight, the straight soldering beads. The soldering bead is a square metal, a square copper material with a pointed end, a square copper material with a pointed end and is fastened to a steel bar with a handle. A square copper material with a pointed end fastened to a steel bar with a handle. Now, the handle of this soldering bead must be made up of a bad conductor of heat. So that, so that your hands will not get burnt by the heat of the soldering bits. This diagram shows us a straight soldering bit. A straight soldering bit. The second type of soldering bit is 
the hatch the hatchet soldering beads. Now, let us see how this works. The straight soldering bead is used for general work. That is, you, you have a surface which is not difficult. You use the straight soldering bead. The hatchet soldering bead is used for soldering in groups. That is, you find areas where it is difficult for the straight soldering bead to, to uh, for the straight soldering bead to be used. You have the hatchet. For instance, in a cylinder, a cylinder has corners where the straight soldering bead will not be able to be used. So we use the hatchet soldering bead. The second material that we have is the solder. The solder here, I have a diagram of the solder. I hope you are with me. The diagram of a solder. If you look at the board, you will see that this is a bar, and then this is the wire form of a solder. Meanwhile, this solder is a multi-material that is used in joining metals. You cannot join metals without the help of this solder. And we have them in two forms, either in wire form or in spool form. The best soft solder is an alloy of lead and thin. This is the type of solder that you use to join your radio terminal, your television terminals, or even your wristwatch and your wall clocks. This is a soft solda. Now, another material again is the flux. The flux acts as a cleanser. It is used to cleanse the surface of the metal so that a good joint will be made and it allows the solda to flow on the metal. You know, you cannot just pick a piece of metal and begin to solder it with all the dirt on it. The dirt will affect your, pro your process. So you need to cleanse the surface first before you do anything. So after cleansing the surface, you solder. After soldering, one important thing that you should not forget is that you must wash off the flux from the surface of the metal. If you don't do that, the acid in the flux will eat up the metal. So the flux is important, but it has its own disadvantages. Another thing again, that material that we use is the source of heat. We cannot solder a material without heat. And we have two sources of heat. We have electricity, that is your electric current from NEPA, okay? Electricity. Then you have your blow lamps. And these blow lamps, they either use kerosene or fuel. You know, your kerosene stove, you can just pick. Some of us do it in our homes. When your soup has cut, you will carry a knife. You put it in the stove, heat the knife, and then you use to join your bathroom slippers. You are soldering. But in this case, rubber. But we are talking about metals now. So the source of heat is either your stove or your blow, uh, your blow lamp or electricity. The last material is your emery cloth or file. This is an abrasive. You have been taught abrasive before. An abrasive is used to smoothen the surface of your, sol of your soldered material. This is for you to be able to remove the excess solder on the metal. Because at times, you, you don't measure solder, you just melt. So at times, the, 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 so, the, so, the solder will mount on the metal. So you have to smoothen it to level up the very surface so that the whole surface will be okay and then it will be smooth. So these are the materials for soldering. Soldering bit, can I hear you say that? You have the solder. You have your flux, you have your sources of heat, and then you have your emery cloth or file. Another important aspect of soldering, again, that we need to look at is the types of soldering. What did I say? Very good. Types of soldering. Basically, we have two types of soldering. one is soft soldering and then the second is hard 
add sodium. Now, from your knowledge of metals, you know that we have different types of metals. We have the, the ones that are heavy and the ones that are not heavy. So we have different methods of joining them. I want us to start with looking at the soft soldering. I have here a chart for you. Again, we want to look at this. If you look at the diagram here, the chart here, you will see a hand. You will see two hands. One is holding the soldering bit, and then one is holding the solder. Here, you have the terminal uh, of either a radio or a television. This is the solder. This is the soldering bit. Now, you can see that with this cable on this bit now, you know that it is being heated by electricity. This is where you plug your bit. When you heat, you now this is the, what you want to join. These are the metals you want to join. This bit will just melt the solder, and the solder will... Be, begin to flow on the metals that you are joining. So this is soft soldering. Soft soldering, the soda, this soda melts below red heat temperature of the soldering bit. And it is used in joining areas where strength is not needed. That is, the metals are not heavy. Like, just like I said, the terminals of radio or the terminals of television. That is where soft soldering is employed. Meanwhile, there's another aspect of soft soldering, which is known as, as sweat soldering, just like your sweat, sweat soldering. There are instances whereby to use the bit is not convenient. So what happens in sweat soldering is that the metals to be joined are heated up. Then the pieces of solda is dropped on the metals then when you heat the metals, it will now melt the solder, and then the metal will be joined. So that is known as sweat soldering. Now, we have finished with soft soldering. The next one is hard soldering. In hard soldering, the metal, the, the solder melts at or above. Please, listen very well. It melts at or above the red heat temperature of the soldering bit. You know, in soft soldering, I told you, I said the, the, the solder melts below the red heat temperature. So in hard soldering, it melts either at or above the red heat temperature of the soldering bit. And it is used where strength is required or where later the joint will be exposed to a stronger amount of heat. This hard soldering is normally used to, to solder either gold silver like our earrings our rings or art metal work this is where hard soldering is employed under hard soldering too we have another different kind of soldering again what is not really pronounced is known as brazing Bra in brazing the temperature of the solder is normally higher than the temperature of the red heat temperature of the bit and the alloy or the solder using hard in, in brazing is known as brass, and we all know that brass is a very, very strong metal. Brass is an alloy of uh, lead and zinc. And what the source of heat for brazing is an oxyacetylene blow pipe that you can find maybe when you, by the time you get to the welders workshop, you will see one big cylinder there that is using to heat the metals. That is an oxyacetylene. We have seen the definition of soldering. We have seen the materials for soldering. We have seen the types of soldering, soft and hard. And we have seen the sweat soldering and we have seen the brazing. So I expect you again, for those of us that have not really gone out, I want you again to go all out what you have seen on the board this morning, what we have discussed this morning, go and make your observations in the welder's workshop or in a workshop where they repair phones or wristwatches or wall clocks or radio or television. You will see all this that we are discussing this morning. Another thing again I want, don't want you to really forget is go to a textbook. 
find out the shape, the types of the soldier beads. Then you compare it with what you see in the workshop. The, your assignment is this once again. Go and make your observations in a workshop and put them down. And don't forget, stay safe when you're going out. Don't forget your face masks. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to sanitize. And don't forget to sneeze into your elbow. Thank you.